From our region to yours, this is AMI Halifax. It was a devastating experience and I didn't know what to do. And I was wondering where would my life he head um, as a disabled person. I'm Jenny Bovard for Accessible Media. Dwayne Compton was 16 years old when he was paralyzed in a hockey accident. Although times got tough, technology helped him evolve as a person. The computer was a wonderful venue for me to open up the, the doors to, uh, to express myself. He turned his love of computers into a career. After working in the field for years and even operating his own business, he's now the IT consultant at the Learning Technology Centre of the King's Regional Rehab Centre. The Waterville, Nova Scotia Centre recently purchased a mouth-operated joystick called a Jouse. With the Jouse, uh, there's little effort needed to control uh, the cursor on the screen. It's based on a sip and puff technology. When I puff into it, it's like a click, and when I sip on it, it's like a right click. So, and a double puff is like a double click. With the repetitive nature of tasks performed in IT support, the Jouse has greatly reduced the stress and strain on Dwayne's body. You can do anything with the Jouse that you can use the mouse for. And uh, I do all my IT support, for example, my NAS servers, backing up software, backing up images, doing maintenance, doing upgrades. James Roy is the coordinator of the Learning and Technology Centre. He says when shopping for new assistive devices, it's important to try them out before you make a purchase. It's really clear, clearly identifying uh, the particular task and the function of the technology that they're considering and, and then looking at a range of possibilities. Uh, there's factors with cost uh, and as well, uh, a good practice is really try before you buy. And, and consumers have access to a variety of tools to try uh, and, and determine. So really an ongoing assessment, so to speak, and evaluation of the functionality of the tool uh, is very key here. CompuSult is the Newfoundland-based company that developed the Jouse. Laura Channon is a member of their training and technical staff. In 1993, we were contracted to develop a, scan, a barcode scanning device for people who were blind, so they could, they could do this, they could read barcodes independently. And since then, we started moving into other products and seeing other opportunities in the market. Devices like the Jouse, although expensive, can greatly assist people like Dwayne Compton. If I didn't have the assistive technology, if I didn't have the computers, um, I wouldn't have been able to develop uh, social skills or computer skills or, or the skills to interact with society. Jenny Bovard, AMI Halifax.